more hospital gowns and another endoscopy. I'm here with my mom and yeah, hopefully this will be the last endoscopy I gotta do. I think this is my third one. So this is becoming a familiar place for me. But why, why do you have a third endoscopy? They keep getting the same results, I guess. So today they're gonna get some samples from my lip nodes in my um, esophagus. So yeah, stay tuned. Love you guys. Um, because we have an appointment tomorrow up here in Kalispell, we're just getting the hotel room here. So I just got out of recovery. Still got the band-aid on. But uh, yeah, me and my mother are at the hotel right now. About to check in and go to the room. Oh, this is a lot better. Oh boy. Let's see how this microphone works out. <laughs> it looks like a... It looks pretty crazy, huh? It does. All right, let's see. So I start treatment on the 13th of this month. I have stage three esophageal cancer. Um, yeah, a lot of, a lot of more things to process, bro. Like, <laughs> They asked me, um, they asked me about fertility. You know, they were saying that the chemotherapy, like I might not be able to have kids after this. You know, I have, I have a six year old and a two year old already. Um, but like, uh, I'm not with either of their mothers. I guess I'm gonna just put all my business out there for y'all. My son lives with his mother in California. My daughter lives with her mother. Uh, and I don't see either of them as much as I would like at all. So like, oh man, just like processing this, bro. I'm like, you know, they're talking about a sperm bank in Missoula. Right after they're like, yeah, and you got stage three, but it's not bad. <laughs> it's not spreading through my blood and it's not going to any other organs in my body. So like, that's good. My treatment's gonna be Monday through Friday. Ooh, like full time, full time going to chemotherapy and radiology. And it is what it is, man. They were saying that like the radiation could cause pain in, in, in my throat and swallowing and stuff like that. And I'm already going through it, so I ain't really tripping off that, you know? What else did they say? Just trying to like rewind it all in my, in my mind again. The good news is like, hopefully it's only like a five week treatment thing, something like that. If it's all gone, they might not have to do surgery. Like if it's all killed from the chemo and radiology or whatever, because the surgery sounds pretty intense. They're talking about cutting out part of my stomach and my esophagus and yeah, it's a lot to process, but you know, like there's a lot of good, there's a lot of good in it. It, it sounds bad, but I'm very hopeful. I'm still young. That's one thing they keep telling me is like, this is a very rare case for somebody your age, but it's a good thing that you are your age and like, you know, you're healthy and, and, and you're fit and everything like that. So yeah. Oh, another thing they're like, you could lose your hair, right? Yeah, and I'm not tripping. I, I, I was aware of that, but he was like, you could lose your eyebrows and facial hair too. And I'm like, bruh, <laughs> please no, I'll look like, a brown worm, bro. No eyebrows, no mustache, no beard. You know how long it took? Actually, it didn't even. I was 13 with this, so I've had it for a while. But, bro, I know, like, I ain't gonna look that great with a, <laughs> with a bald face and no eyebrows. Oh, no. I don't know if I can handle that. Oh, man. That's, that's the update for that. Here comes my mom. How did you feel when they brought up the whole fertility thing? Well, I kind of was wondering if that was going to be an issue. I don't know if somebody asked me when if I wanted more kids after I've had two. I'd probably say, nah, I'm done. I know Anna's saying she's done, mm -hmm. but it's so up to you. Yeah, what about, uh, so personal. What about when they were saying I might lose my eyebrows and my, um, well, you will, it'll come back, it'll come back. You know, oh, I will, if for sure. Yes. Oh, are you interviewing me? Yeah. 
I didn't know that. Oh yeah, I was just getting a um, few questions out real fast. Okay, let me just get myself together here. So, thank you everybody for all your donations. I'm gonna show you guys some of the things I got. Right now I'm using uh, a ring light that I bought, yeah? It's a, uh... hold on, let me grab the box. <laughs> just a little vlogging kit oh my god what is that okay so yeah it goes up to six feet tall it's got this little remote to start it and everything the good light it switches and everything you know brightness you can see it like this or you know you can rotate through it i'm probably gonna keep it right there and then i got this microphone here with the phone holder right there I would be using the microphone on, on this, but it doesn't go with this attachment. Uh, so I'll get another attachment here in a day or two so that it can go onto the ring light, make it a little bit easier for y'all to hear me. Hopefully this sound ain't too bad right now. Also got stabilizer, you know, flips out. Connected to Bluetooth, it stabilizes itself and everything. I didn't get a tripod. They didn't have one at the Caliswell Best Buy. I know they got it at the Missoula one. So I'll get a tripod and then I'll get a few lenses. Again, I'm just gonna be shooting it off my phone. It really ain't that bad. And I've been doing a lot of research on like on vlogging and, and everything, especially off the iPhone, little attachments and everything to make it the quality a lot better. So all of this, everything that I just showed you guys, you guys, you guys, uh funded everything man it's so crazy how much <sighs> one thing i'm trying to really not do on this is cry but like it's hard not to get emotional when there's so much love being poured into my family and i man it means the world to me you guys really don't even know yeah it's really helping me keep my mental state really healthy this just gives me a purpose you know it helps me stay busy in my downtime and it helps me allow other people to see this side of of cancer and everything you know the treatment and everything you know there's people that are in my situation i guess that don't talk about it with their families they don't open up they kind of just shelter themselves off which is totally understandable but me i i really want to share this whole, whole experience kind of just give people insight on what it's like to go through this, man, with my family members and then just my side of it, as well as my friends. I have a lot of ideas for this whole vlog thing as far as content goes that I'm really excited to get started on. And you guys are the reason all this is happening, honestly. Everything that I purchased today was from your guys' donations. And my mother was just like, what? You know, just shocked. I'm still shocked, bro. Like, it means the world to me. So from the bottom of my heart, thank you guys so much. None of this would be possible without you guys' help, without your guys' donations. And please don't feel bad if you haven't donated. And don't feel obligated to donate, please. Like, we all got our own lives. We all have responsibilities and bills to pay. I know people got kids, you know what I mean? So, like, please don't feel bad if, if you can't donate. Like just viewing, viewing and, and and just sticking along with me on this journey is more than enough, man. I love you guys so much. Um, pretty intense stuff that they're telling me, man. Nothing, nothing too scary, but it's just like, damn, the process is about to be crazy. I really hope I don't lose my eyebrows. I don't know why I'm tripping off my eyebrows so bad, <laughs> but uh. It'll be interesting to say the least, huh? So yeah, this whole next week, I'll just be preparing myself for treatment the following week. Mentally, you know, like I'm, I'm, I'm prepared. I, you know, I'm a soldier. Honestly, I'm like, all right, cool. We're gonna, we're gonna start it. We're gonna get through it. You know, they're saying that it could only take like five weeks for the chemo and radiation, and then you know, I'll recover for like three weeks or something like that and then we'll do the surgery to remove part of my esophagus and my stomach but they were saying also too like if it's just the lip nodes with the radiation and chemotherapy it might just kill it all and I might not have to have surgery so well let, let's uh let's cross our fingers for that one
you know, because the surgery sounds pretty intense. And I mean, I already got the, I already got this feeding tube on my tattoo. So if they got to cut me open, bruh, like, I know you could get tattoos fixed up, but. <sighs> Excuse me, I keep bourbon and it hurts. I don't know if it was from the endoscopy yesterday, but like when I burp, it feels like my chest is and then it'll close back. It, yeah, it hurts, man. I ain't gonna lie, but only for a split second. When they brought up the fertility thing, I was like, I don't even know. I don't know. Yeah, it's just so much to process and to think about. Like, do I want more kids? I don't know. So I'm probably going to do the sperm bank thing just in case I do want kids in the future and I can't do it naturally. You know, at least I got some little Benny somewhere in a cup ready at my disposal, I guess. That's so weird, though, bro. Like, just thinking about that. I don't know. I told him I'd think about it for tonight and then I'll get back to him tomorrow, but I'm pretty sure I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with it. Mentally, I'm doing pretty good. Physically, I'm doing all right. My pain's going down. I haven't even had no edibles today. I ain't even took a painkiller today, so I'm doing good, I'm doing good. Oh, with everything going on, for those of you who do know, I make music, I rap, sing, whatever you want to call it. And I have a lot of music that I'm sitting on. And because of the situation at hand currently, I'm just going to be releasing music, man. At least a single every other week. I think uh, I'm going to drop a song called Stuck to the Code. I've been sitting on that one for like two years. So I'm going to drop that one. And then after that, I'm going to drop a song called Pride of a Man. Just to put it out there, you know, just to get the music out there. What's the point of making music if you ain't going to release it? You know what I mean? And I'll be damned if something bad happens and I never release any of this good music that I'm sitting on. That's another part of this process is I'm going to be releasing a lot of music while I'm going through this journey. So you guys tap in, you know, let me know, give me feedback on some of the music and everything. Throughout the vlogs too, I'll play like unreleased music that I have, me and my boys. We have a lot of music, I ain't even gonna lie. Yeah, if you if you hear some of the music playing in the videos and everything, like and and you, and you like it, just let me know. Like, yo, yo, drop this one, drop this one, you know, or what's this one called? Wooty woo, you know. That that'll let me know. I want I want I want to see what y'all think. You know, I want to I want y'all's feedback as far as the music goes. Like which which one I should drop next? Blah blah blah. So I got a plan for at least two singles to be coming out here soon. You know, we'll see. But oof. Jeez, I don't know if you guys could tell, but man, they did something to my lip yesterday during the endoscopy. I feel like I got punched, bro. Ugh, like it's a fat lip. I feel like, what were they doing when I was asleep? They were like, pow, pow. I don't know if I was gnawing on the tube or what. And they were like, yo, this ain't food, stop. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know, but I definitely got a fat lip. Interesting. So, new music on the way. Vlog content on the way. And you know what, man? We're gonna beat cancer. That is on the way too. So I love you guys. Thank you guys so much for all your love and support. Um, again, none of this would be possible without you guys. You guys will be able to tell the difference, um, especially when I get these last few little things. I've been watching a lot of vlogs. I be watching vlogs. Like I be watching a lot of vlogs, like van life vlogs or like you know, I'm, I just like watching vlogs, so I have an idea of, like, how I want it to look, how I want the editing to be, you know what I mean? What type of equipment I want to use so that it looks really good. I don't want it to be all shaky and stuff. I want to be able to look back at it and be like, oh, yeah, yo, he started it this way, but now this is, like, cinematic, you know what I mean? So, that's the plan. I'm very excited. I'm very hopeful for the future. I know I'm going to get through this. I'm going to beat Cancer's ass. And, you know, I guess you guys are going to get to know me a little bit deeper. I'm not going to hold nothing back. I'm just going to speak my mind on a lot of things when I got to update you guys with my mental state, my physical state, what the chemo is like, what it feels like. And uh, also, like, I'll get I'll get insight from my family. I plan on, on this was not my plan, actually. I ain't going to lie. I ain't going to take credit for any of this. Uh, my brother, Jory, his wife, Asha, she's like my sister, man. That's a real nigga right there. I ain't even gonna lie. Excuse my language, but yeah, that's a real nigga right there. 
but she gave me the idea to interview my family members about you know finding out that I got cancer and things like that so that's gonna be part of the vlogging series too I'm gonna be interviewing each of my family members um, I'm gonna interview my mom tomorrow before she leaves back down to Utah and then I'll interview my sister and my dad over the weekend while they're here and um, yeah I don't want it to just be about me I want it to because it's not just about me this affects my family my friends it, it's affected people that I don't people from middle school have reached out to me people from high school people who only know my sisters you know what I mean or just my parents have reached out and it's just crazy but you know like I feel like it, it's so much bigger than me now I'm connected to a lot of people and, and a lot of you guys are rooting for me so it's just like it's really giving me purpose man so from the bottom of my heart everybody who donated thank you so much everybody that's staying along with me on this journey i love you guys so much thank you. you this helps me more than you guys know not even just the equipment but because i feel like i'm talking to people right now you know i don't feel like i'm talking to myself even when i'm like recording in the car or whatever i know it's not just for me man it makes it easier for me to talk to the camera you know when i know that people care when i know that people are tuned in so thank you guys for being here with me and part of this journey i'm excited man i'm excited and i hope you guys uh i hope you guys enjoy some of the stuff that's going to be coming also I, I wanted to uh explain a little bit i guess i've been living with cancer for six months and i didn't even know <laughs> and if you guys didn't know i got locked up last year march 31st was the day i got locked up and i got out in uh, late october and i started having the issue with f food getting stuck in my esophagus in august but like it'll get stuck and I'll just chug water and it'll go go down and I just didn't think anything of it, you know? Plus when you're locked up, like it's hard even just to get meds. So I figured I'll just cross this bridge when I got there, if it got worse or whatever, you know? Um, and when I got out in October, I was still able to eat. I would just, it, it, might, it might get stuck or whatever. I'd chug water, go down, cool. But yeah, in December before Christmas, I think it was either Darren or Desmond. I was living with Darren, Desmond, and my boy Trace. And these boys, they be eating and they be cooking good food, yeah? And they made a, a, this pot roast. Oh, bro, and it smelled so delicious. And they were cooking it for hours, you know what I mean? I knew I was having issues with food going down. So after they had made their plate and everything, I went over there to the crock pot, took a little fork, you know, took some of the meat, ate it, tasted delicious got stuck tried chugging water nothing threw it up and that was the first sign we're like yo what the so it just kept happening and then i just started only eating noodles and that got tiring very fast and that's when i went to the er in january um to go get checked out and then this whole journey started man it's just it's crazy to think like I've been living with cancer this whole time. You know what I mean? And please, like, if you see me out, one thing I don't want people to do is, like, treat me like a leper or something. You know what I mean? Like, I'm still me. I'm still me. I'm still the dude that makes music. I'm still the dude that just wants to have fun and wants to make people laugh and have a good time. You know? Like, if you've ever spent time with me, you know, I'm just a, I'm just a goofball, man. I love my friends. I love my family. I love... I love people, uh, I love making people laugh. I love just having a good time. I ha I can't even laugh to my fullest capability. Like that real Samoan laugh, that real Polynesian laugh, you know, like I can't, I can't even do it cause it hurts. It hurts too much. So I'd be like laughing 70% just so it don't hurt. It sucks, but it is what it is. But yeah, man, it's just crazy to think that I've been living with cancer for half a year. And I'm happy that we caught it now for sure, you know? Um, while it's still treatable. Because they said, like, once it gets to stage four, like, it ain't looking too good, my boy, you know? So stage three, and it's not going to any other part of my body. We're going to be all right. But yeah, so that's that's when it first started. A few people have reached out to me because they've had, like, the same problems. So, you know, I just want to explain, like, when it started, how long ago it started, and how it gradually got worse, and why, and how I figured that it was cancer. So yeah it's so crazy too like to get out of jail and everything come to find out i got cancer now it's just like damn can i chill for a little bit can i get my life in order 
But, you know, there's a blessing in disguise through this whole thing. Um, it, it's starting to really make sense to me. This isn't even, this ain't even me. You know, this is a higher entity controlling me right now. I'm just a vessel. This is God. This is the creator working through me, keeping me positive, allowing me to be inspirational and to come back and, and you know, express myself with y'all. That's what I believe personally. <clears throat> Excuse me. So there's there's going to be something beautiful that comes out of this from the vlogging, from me introducing you guys to a lot of new music that's coming. You know, I'm excited. I'm excited. This Pride of a Man song. My boy Josh cut up on the mix and mastering, bro. Like I was listening to it last night. Just like, I can't wait for people to hear this. Yeah, I'm really excited. So I just wanted to give you guys a little background about like when this first started, how it felt, and to where we're at now. I love you guys so much. More than more than I can really express. Thank you guys for everything. All the love and support. All the prayers, all the well wishes. We gonna beat Kansas ass, boy. That's on my mama. I love y'all. I'll talk to you guys soon.